A pivot table is a great way to summarize data in Excel. And in this pivot table, we can see the number of units sold in two months for two different products, and each product was sold in three colors. In addition to looking at the raw data, we can also add custom calculations that let us see this data in different ways. So I'm going to take the units field and put another copy of it into the values area. So I'll just drag it down and now we have sum of units and it just numbers it automatically with a 2 at the end. For this field, I'm going to right click Go to show values as and there are different custom calculations that we can use. Some of these custom calculations are available in all versions of Excel and some like these percent of parent calculations are only in Excel 2010 and later. Well, the first one I'll show you is percent of column total. It shows me that 60% of the sales in January were pens and 40% for binders. And then under binders, we can see that the black binders were 20% of the overall January sales. And for the blue pens, that's 25% of the overall sales in January. So that custom calculation is useful, but you might want to see a breakdown of how these colors contribute to the overall binder sales. So we'll look at a different calculation for that. So I'll right click again, show values as, and instead of percent of column, I'm going to select percent of parent row total. The numbers for binders and pens, those percentages are the same. But under each item, for the colors, we can see the percentage that each color contributed to the parent sales. So more than half of those binders were black in January, and then in February, 61% were blue binders. Here's another layout with the same data, but this time we have the months and under those the two items. So we've got a horizontal arrangement of the data here. I've added the second copy of the units field and if I right click here and click show values as percent of row total. So here 7% of the overall sales of blue items were pens in February. We can use a percent of parent calculation here as well. So I'll right click on one of the units two items, show values as, and this time I'll select percent of parent column total. Because we have the information going across in columns this time, I can see that for the January sales, for the black color, 55% were binders and 44% were pens. So this is breaking down the subtotal for January and February and showing the percentages within that month. So with a pivot table, you can show the raw data, but you can also add custom calculations that let you look at the data in different ways. For more Excel tips and tutorials, and to download the sample file for this video, please visit my Contextures website at www.contextures.com.